Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. Please excuse how I look. I know I look crazy, but today I'm doing a perm rod set. This is my first time ever doing this and I'm super excited for this hairstyle. So let's just get right into it. So I already washed and sectioned my hair. I did allow it to air dry just a bit so my roots wouldn't be soaking wet. Now I'm just gonna wet my hair, avoiding my roots of course, and apply my first product which is the Mayel Rice Water Moisturizing Milk. Wow, that is a tongue full. Um, I watched a few videos and they said starting off with a cream base is always good because it gives you the moisture you need, especially if you're using like a mousse, which I am. I just rake this product through my hair and that's it. Next product I'm using is the Feel Ultra Growth Oil. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I just like to take a bit of this oil and just lather it into my hair, mainly focusing on my ends, just so when I wrap it around the rod, there isn't any frizz. So now I'm going to apply this mousse def by the do and use a detangling brush to make sure the product is evenly distributed through my hair. You definitely could just use this product alone if you wanted to, but for me, I just need something a bit more moisturizing. Now I'm just going to take the perm rod and wrap the end of my hair around it, making sure to really smooth the hair around the rod. Then I'm just going to twirl my hair upward using this corkscrew method, I believe. And once I reach my roots, I just simply snap it into place. And then I'm just going to go on and do the rest of my hair the same way. So now that I'm finished, I'm just going to put my bonnet on and go to sleep. I do have a few loose ones in the back that I couldn't get very tight, but I'm sure it won't matter. It's the next day and I already put oil on my hands and I'm just going to start taking down my hair. The front of my hair is completely dry and looks really nice. So, so far, so good. So I did notice some of my back and side pieces were a little damp. I most likely put too much hair on the rod. So next time I definitely will make sure to work in smaller sections so my hair can dry evenly. Now that all the rods are out, I'm just going to add some more oil to my hands and separate my curls. When I separate my curls, I like to pull them apart from the roots and then just twist the curls in the same direction that I twisted them on the perm rod. This is so I won't lose the curl or make the ends frizzy.
Sometimes I will twist the curls towards each other. I've seen a few people do this. I don't know why, but I just wanted to try it to see if there was any difference. And honestly, I can't tell. Let me know if you can see a difference because I'm just not seeing it. Now that I'm done separating my curls, my hair is giving this sort of ugly 80s wolf cut thing. So I'm gonna take my pick and just play around with it until I get the shape that I like. I really like how it looks. I love how voluminous my curls are and how big my hair looks. If sleeping on rollers wasn't such a pain, I would do this all the time. After I picked my hair out, once I got dressed, it deflated. My bang pieces also needed to be cut, so I just styled it a bit different, and this is the result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And like always, thank you for watching.